Hi, my name is Adriana Salerno and I'm the visiting mathematician here at the Mathematical Association of America where we organize the American Mathematics competitions. On November 15th, we had the AMC8 which was taken by middle schoolers across the country and even if you didn't take the exam, you can watch this video to see how to start one of the more challenging problems in the AMC8. And today's video is going to be about problem 23 from the AMC 8. As always, let's first start reading the problem carefully. The problem says the following. Two congruent circles centered at points A and B each pass through each other's center. The line containing both A and B is extended to intersect the circles at points C and D. The two circles intersect at two points, one of which is E. What is the degree measure of the angle C, E, D? So first, there's a lot of stuff going on. Pause the video and see if you can draw a picture of the statement of the problem. Okay, now that you've tried to draw something, let's all do it together. So in this slide, I'm just going to do a not so good picture of the problem and then we'll move on to the next slide. But it's good to have at least an idea of what's going on. So we have points A and B and these are the centers of two circles and each one of the circles, first of all, they're congruent circles, so they're exactly the same size. And each one of the circles goes through the other's center. So like I said, this is not a perfect picture, but it is going to give us the idea of what's going on. So here are the points A and B and the two circles. Now, there's a line containing both A and B. So let's draw this horizontal line. And we extend it to intersect the circles at two other points. So we're just going to stretch this out in both of these directions and they're going to intersect at two new points C and D. Okay. And the two circles intersect at two points. Here's one and here's the other. That's where the two circles intersect each other and one of them, you can pick whichever one, but I'm going to pick the one in the top, we're going to call E. And so from all of this information, we want to know what this angle is. Okay, what is the angle C, E, D? Okay, so this angle right here. So now that you've drawn a picture, we can say a few different things about the problem, but I'm going to move on to the next slide where there's a better picture of what I just drew. And so officially you have already gotten started by drawing the picture of the problem. Here is a much nicer picture uh, to the problem that was stated in the previous slide. Remember again, we want to know what this angle measures. And so I'm going to give you one more hint and it's this. Let's draw this line from E to A and this line from E to B. And so I want you to pause the video and think about the triangles, the triangle A, E, D, the triangle A, E, B, and the triangle E, B, C. Okay? Pause the video for a second and think about what kinds of triangles these are. Have you thought about it? Okay, then let's think about those three triangles. They're actually three very special triangles. Because if you look at this, so the length from A to D is the radius of the circle. And it's exactly the same as the length from A to E. So this side and this side are exactly the same. So this triangle on the left 
AED is an isosceles triangle. Now let's look at the triangle AEB. Well, the distance from A to B is the distance from the center to the edge of the circle, so it's also the same as the radius. And this is this radius because they're congruent circles, so they're exactly the same. And so this triangle in the middle is an equilateral triangle. And then finally, the one on the right has the same. It's also an isosceles triangle. Now, what I want you to think about is now that we have identified what these three triangles are, how does that help us solve this problem? So I want you to think about that. Remember, we want to know what the measurement of this angle is, but we're going to use the fact that we know this about the triangles to answer that question. Okay, good luck.